So here we have our drawing from the National Maritime Museum. This is the body plan. It has a, an amazing number of lines and we're wondering what do they all mean. Well they all mean something and I want to take just a moment to suggest what some of these lines mean and how they're used in uh, drawing out the station lines and therefore drawing out the frames. You'll notice on the body plan there's the center line, the baseline going across the top of the keel, the side lines set the distance of the molded breadth, uh, the widest part of the ship at the dead flat frame. Zooming in on the keel, you'll see that the rabbit is cut in in a conventional form. It doesn't actually look like that. This uh, rectangle represents a bottom plank. In our case, it's four inches thick. Have the false keel. Then we also have a series of diagonals that have been drawn on. They are used to plot out points along the frame. Here we see two dotted lines. This represents the breadth of the ship. That is the widest part of the frame. The frame is actually flat between these two lines. This is the upper breadth line. This is the lower breadth line. Along the lower breadth line you'll see horizontal lines coming out from the intersection of the station and the breadth line coming over to a point and then that point at the end of the line is used as a center for the radius of drawing an arc that drops down from the uh, breadth line, the lower breadth line, and that's called the lower breadth sweep. We could draw a similar set of lines for the upper breadth line to create the upper breadth arc or sweep, but they're not included on this particular plan. You'll notice that the horizontal lines are actually horizontal only up to about oh, frame M, somewhere in there, and then they start to change out there. Um, can't really tell you why, uh, but that's uh, being done obviously in order to give a particular shape to the upper part of the frame there. This line here has to do with the rising line. You'll see a series of points, each labeled for its particular station or frame along the way. Only goes up to M. That's on the forward part of the ship. On the after part, only goes up to frame 14. So as we look at this, these points are used to draw the bottom arc or the floor sweep for the frame. How they're calculated doesn't need to concern us at this point. We just know, need to know that's what they are. That's what they're doing. Okay. So what we're looking at, the baseline, side lines, middle line, the diagonal lines, the breadth lines, and the floor sweep points along the rising line. Okay. Let's get rid of that photograph. You'll see here I've drawn out the basics of the right-hand side of the body plan, the middle line, the side line, set out half the distance of the molded breadth. Uh, in this case, I'm using a distance that would make a ship uh, 37 feet 8 inches uh, broad. Steel says it should be 37 feet 6 inches, but in the chart here, 37 feet 8 inches works better. So that's what I've used. I've used a number from the chart here. This is the baseline running across the top of the keel. You'll see I've drawn in the rabbit as is conventional. Again, it doesn't actually look like that. The rabbit is drawn by uh, taking the distance of the bottom plank, which for our ship is four inches, and making an isosceles triangle. Each of these is a four inch leg. And then an arc is drawn uh, with its center four inches down the side of the keel, because that's the width of the bottom plank, and then with a radius of four inches. So that gives us this arc here. It'll be used in drawing the station lines. I've drawn in the diagonal lines they were obtained from this chart here. The 
diagonals are numbered from the bottom up. So the first diagonal is up the middle line 8 feet and its distance from the middle line along the baseline 7 feet 4 inches. So that's why we have 8 feet up, 7 feet 4 inches over. That gave us the diagonal line. And that is um, done for five of the diagonals. Didn't do it for the sixth diagonal because it's not used in our exercise. Here you see the line that is the uh, for the rising line. I wanted you to see that the uh, line does not enter, uh, stop at the diagonal. It just looks like it from a distance, but it's actually a separate line, no relationship to the diagonal. Uh, this line will be used uh, to create the floor sweep as this point here at the end of it is the center of the radius for the floor sweep. We obtain that from this chart here. You'll notice that the height of the rising line is 12 feet. So we went from the baseline up 12 feet. And then we have the length um, the, the rising half breadth of four feet three and a half inches. And so we did four feet three and a half inches over. That's how that line was drawn. Here's the uh, lower breadth line uh, or horizontal line. We got that by going to the lower height of breadth, 70 feet 3 inches. And the length of the lower breadth sweep, 14 feet 2 inches. So that's what we drew out here. We went up, then we went over the 14 feet 2 inches. The upper breadth line was drawn using similar numbers. The upper breadth height, the height of the breadth line was uh, 18 feet 11 inches. And the length of the lower breadth sweep was 11 feet 3 inches. So that's how we obtain these numbers. And what will happen is this will be the center of the radius. This is the radius line, and, and an arc will be drawn down from that, and that's called the lower breadth sweep. Similar thing will happen here, only it'll go up, and that'll be the upper breadth sweep. Okay. Now we have a series of dots on the diagonals. Those were obtained here. The length along the first diagonal was 9 feet 4 inches. So we went, came down a distance of 9 feet 4 inches, set down the, the point. Second diagonal, 13 feet 11 and a half inches. As you guessed, 13 feet 11 and a half inches. We did that for each of the diagonals according to the chart that we have here. Now with that done, we're ready to draw out the frame. Oh, this oh, this is the top timber line. Should have mentioned that. This is the top of the frame and that comes from uh, the chart again. The height of the top timber line is 27 feet from the baseline and the half breadth of the top timber line is 16 feet 9 inches. So we came over 16 feet 9 inches. Uh, and that gives us the highest point of the frame. 